So I have a question for you. So yeah. You, now, I consider myself a gamer, but I'm not playing a lot of games lately. Yeah. Now, does not playing... When going through slumps of not playing games, does that make you any less of a gamer? What do you think? Um, I actually don't like the whole gamer label thing. Mm. I don't like it at all. And I, I think a few people share this opinion with me, but almost everybody plays games. Like, yeah, it, maybe not even specifically video games, like I guarantee you, almost every person you know has at least played a board game or a card game or something like that. Right. Right, and those are just as much games as video games are. So you feel there's no need for classification whatsoever? Yeah, no, it's... It's like saying you're a movie watcher just because you go to the theaters once right. a month. Right. Right? It's just kind of silly. It's just something that's like normal for our culture now, so I don't think mm. we should define people by being gamers. Right. Um, I, de I definitely understand like wanting to label like subcultures mm -hmm. within the what we normally call gamers now. Yeah. Um, but, you know, doing stuff like that, like, oh, he's like, hardcore gamer, like. Right. It's and stuff like that. Or like a mobile gamer. In most cases. Yeah. It really is. And uh, most cases I've seen it used is kind of in a negative sense, like people saying, oh, you're not a true gamer. What yeah. the fuck do you know? <laughs> yeah. So I find, that, I find that interesting. Do you ever go through slumps like that where you're just not playing games anymore? Honestly, I think when I was in university I went through like a year and a half where I didn't play a new game wow. at all. Nothing. And I only very rarely played like Dark games and Dark Halo. Souls. Yeah. And yeah, barely touched Halo either, which really? is a game I love. Wow, that's weird. Um, barely touched WoW, which is a game that's really easy to just like lose yeah. yourself in. Like I just didn't play games because I okay. just wasn't like interested in playing them. Yeah. But like I was going to just Cool to learn how to make them. Like I still had interest in games, and I still like kept up on all the news and stuff. Yeah, you just can't. It's it's a time commitment. It's a very large time commitment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I still find that when I'm not playing games, I'm still really interested in games media, even games that yeah. I don't care about. Like I still like knowing things about the division. I'm yeah, never gonna touch it. No, nope. <laughs> I just I, I'm interested in that. So I really uh, yeah. So I'm totally with you. I think we should try and abolish the whole gamer thing. Yeah. Though I, I. I do think there should be some clarification between a grandmother that plays Fruit Ninja every once in a while and, you know what I mean, someone who's sunk like 5,000 hours into World of Warcraft. There should be yeah. some type of differentiation. Yeah, there's there. a differentiation there. But, like, it's kind of more like, you know, somebody has, like, a passion or a hobby for right. something. And um, I think a lot of the harm actually just comes from generally classifying games together. Right. Like... Somebody sunk 5,000 hours in a World of Warcraft, and you should say, they're a World of Warcraft enthusiast. Because right. that, you know, brings the game up and gives credit to the game. Right, Rather than right. just saying, he's a gamer. He yeah. plays a lot of games. And a lot of times that is used detrimentally. And something I, I always think about is uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Mm -hmm. Someone I'm not particularly fond of. Because um, when a highlight, or a headline rather, came up about gaming, he was like, oh, these trolls on their computers doing this, and you yeah. know what I mean? Just portraying them all as losers, which isn't necessarily the case at all. It, no. It'd be like, okay, so someone spends a thousand hours at World of Warcraft. How is that any different than someone who spends like a thousand hours learning a musical instrument? There's not real... It's kind no, of useless it's... As, like, as far as a survival skill goes, and chances are you're not going to make any money from it. Yeah, and the stereotypes so... like are just wrong, because if you're just talking about like games as a whole, yeah, there's more... 60 plus year old women who play games than there are teenage boys who play games. What? I don't By believe pure that numbers. For a second. Really? Well, yeah, including mobile. Uh -huh. That's what a lot of it is, and they're playing games on their mobile devices. And, you know, it's, it's a very different classification, but those are still games. So, like, just talking about games in general, just it isn't helpful. What? I, I'm having trouble digesting this. Seriously. Right? Seriously? Seriously. If you take all gamers across everything, yeah, it's like 51% men, 49% women. No, no, no. I, I get that. Yeah. But but like there teenage are more boys over versus... 60 year old women yeah. than all teenage boys. Yeah. They're, well, they're a huge market on mobile. Huh. Huge market on mobile. I mean, you'd know, so. Yeah. <laughs> huh. The more you know. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh.